hi today's video i'm gonna do something similar to what i did a few weeks ago you know this famous tiktok french hack you know with the stumper i'm gonna do it on this nail and this time i'm gonna try something different because i'm trying to make in like a marbly effect but do the same technique if you haven't seen the previous video i'm gonna link it up there and you can watch it and before we jump in uh if you're new to this channel i put up new content at least like two three times a week i check out the comments so if you have any questions just feel free to ask uh, if you subscribe on my channel you will get notification every time i put up something uh, new so i think i had enough speech so let's just jump in so if you haven't seen this technique yet uh, the main thing is that i have this stumper I'm gonna put the gel polish on the surface of this and I'm gonna dip my finger in like that. And the way I do it, it's gonna create like a, a French end. So today I'm gonna use white and dark blue and see how it turns out because I haven't done another one since my <clears throat> first video and I never seen this uh, anywhere else yet so i'm really curious how it's gonna work okay so i have my colors here first i start with the white and i have this dark blue probably you can see it as black but it's blue i don't know how it's gonna work because i never tried it before it just this idea just popped in my head and I was curious enough to try it out if you tried it before please tell me uh, how did it go and even if you tried it without the the marble effect just tell me how did it go for you or you find it as messy as me or i mean i'm not messy the technique is messy and maybe i mix it a little bit i don't know i don't know i don't know okay so let's try it Okay, I really hope this time it's going to go better than the last time. Oh my god. Sorry, I was out of the camera angle, but now it's going to go good. Oh my god. Wow. I love this. It's really, really cool. Okay. I'm not talking because I'm concentrating. Oh my God, girls, you have to try this. Oh my God. Yeah, I have to fix this French and kind of thing, you know, just make sure it's nice and clean, but probably okay i totally ruined this so i take this off and i try it again because it's just amazing so i get some cleanser i didn't cure it and i can take it off like that and you see it was not messy at the end so i think i learned something since the last time so i can tell it's a better result Okay, went into the corner and a little bit on the skin, but it's still better than the, the first time was. Okay, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of more gel polish because it seems it ran out. And I guess I should just do this with one movement. Uh, and not just like more small ones. I just try to get an idea because I really never practiced this before. Okay. Okay. Okay, pray for me. <laughs> I 
It's just amazing. Okay, you can see it didn't happen with only one movement, but I tried to do something better now. Honestly, it looking crazy cool. It just, I love this. Wow. Okay. I think I'm happy with this side. And now I just have to do something good on the other side. <clears throat> It still didn't go straight, but what if I fix it with a brush? I know it's cheating, but I don't care, girls, because I am so much more uh, happy with this result, what I got in the other video. So before I put it in the lump, I pick up a mixture of blue and white. And because it's a marble, Still not perfect, but it looks so much better. Okay. I think I'm gonna cure it because if I try to fix it even more times, I would just ruin it. So I'm gonna cure it now. I cured it. And look at this, it's not messy. Ha! Okay, the secret is you don't have to put on too much gel polish. Because the last time, uh, what I did uh, three weeks ago, I put on too much. And it ruined it. But this one is still not perfect. So I guess I'm going to do another video. But for now, I am really, really happy with the result. And now I put on one layer of top coat and of course I think it would be easier if I did this on somebody else but I'm gonna cure it again so here's the result and I have to say this nail is not as thick as it was the last time so I have to say that I think I improved this technique a little bit for me and I really really love the marbly effect uh, please let me know if you tried this before and I'm really, really curious how did it go for you I really want to know if you want to see something different what you never seen before or you are struggling with just leave me a comment and I'm gonna do a video about it um, whatever it is if you have any question just feel free to ask uh, I'm gonna try this technique again because I really wanna improve it because it's a good idea. And the good news is that it didn't get messy like uh, as messy was uh, the last time I did. So I'm very, very happy with the result. Yes, of course, there is a lot of things to improve, but I'm happy enough for now. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.